When opening the Excel Scorekeeper, you will be presented with a macro warning. You will need to enable macros for this spreadsheet to work. This is a scorekeeper that we can use when you're playing games in the class. It's nice to be able to have a quick and easy way to record the scores for different groups. Uh, it runs on a smart board just as your Excel spreadsheet. You can minimize the or uh, run it as a smaller version. It's quite simple. We just click when we've got uh, a point on the different teams and as they record their points um, it records it for you exactly what they've got. You can see the scores are appearing over here. Uh, if we made a mistake and we wish to change it we can uh, just manually change the points. The score works up until uh, 10 on our display uh, but you can actually keep going up but the display is only going to show to our maximum of 10 points. Uh, if you wish to give bonus points you can and you see we've changed colour over here. So this is a very simple uh, spreadsheet that's designed to let us uh, record points for a group activity. There is another way of doing this, a more complicated way, which uh, I have here. This has got the same team um, situation here where we're recording the points as they're going on but we can also have a whole class indication as to whether the class is behaving. Uh, we can indicate whether they're, um, they're two up or uh, whether they're uh, not doing so well and the teacher's not so happy, so we can have a, a whole class feedback. Uh, as well as that, we have the ability to assign a button to each student. Now, these are just called button one, button two. You can label them for the names of the students in your class, and then we can give them points again uh, and we're recording the score, whoever's got the highest score gets highlighted um, and that just moves around. Uh, as well we can also uh, manually put in points uh, if we wish to do that and we can delete everybody's points. Now that is being recorded, this overall button points one is being recorded on sheet two here and you can see they're getting a score that's going up and down. We have their name sitting over here and we can find out what the overall score was like for that particular student for that particular session. So this just requires a little bit of customization. You need to go back in and change the uh, button one to a student name if that's what you were wanting to do. So quite simple ways of using Excel as a way of recording the score in a class.